Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level 2 Megabase playthrough. So, last episode we just got our rocket silo done. So, um, in this episode I'm kinda looking forward to uh, hooking it up, seeing uh, how much of this uh, is actually gonna run and supply what we need, and then figure out what uh, our base is lacking. Um, we just saw that we crafted quite a few of our productivity modules tier 2. So let's just see if we can't get 4 done as well. Uh, they are quite important in terms of getting uh, into our rocket silo to save on resources. So let's just grab a bit more. Craft 3. Grab some more processing units and grab number 4. And whatever else we have. So at least that will give us enough to uh, to set up a rocket silo. So let's just line it up right here like the rest of it. We can't do something simple as just hooking it up right here. Giving it three inputs. We could do it in three different belts for the fun of it. We'll just move it down one then. And then we can have a whole line of uh, what's called rocket silos here in the future. So there we are. The way we're going to get them in is quite simply with three inserters. Might want to do it something like right here with one going under. This should be all we need to, uh, to hook it up giving ourselves a bit of power right here in the middle. So this will grab from the first one, this one will grab from the second belt, and this one will grab from the third one. And that's the three inputs we need, so that is uh, very, very nice. Then we just need four modules in this one, and then we should be quite good to go. So before I hook this up, let's just get the three lines in we need, luckily. It is so, so easy to do, just lining up one, two, three. Hopefully we can get them in just like this. Can't see why not. And one, two, three. Seems we have run out a bit of a few things. So what if we just upgrade some of them to the next tier? That should at least make it possible for it to work. There we are. I think this will make sure that it all goes in as intended. Just stopping it here to get our modules done before we hook it all up. So we need to upgrade U2 as well. That should ho hook everything up very, very nicely. So let's just see it in action. So splitting it off, one here, we'll need one for the next one, might drag it out a bit more just to have it some good way. Maybe we can do something like this, might actually give us the input we need, so we have one going from right here in, second one to there, and third one right here, with them jumping down to the next one if needed, or just continuing on. So let's just do that for now. I know it'll waste a small amount of resources, but uh, that way we can at least see, see it's hooked up correctly. Course upper priority to the right, all the way down. There we are. And that should pretty much sort this out to, uh, to our rocket silo. So let's, let's hook them up. Let's see how this goes. And now we are really cooking with oil, or however that saying is. So things are flowing in quite, quite nicely. Here is two of you, and the last one. So we'll hit 40% productivity. 
At this point, I would normally add some beacons to this to speed it up. But uh, I think this is uh, completely fine for, uh, for now. So let's just throw it in and see how much we are missing. So look at this, our first percentage of uh, our rocket. That is looking good. So now we'll just leave this first percent and go check out what we need to improve in the rest of the base to uh, get the speed up of these. If you look at what we're producing right now, we have this one. Where is the other ones we need? Let's see, let's see. This one and where's the rock control units? There we are. As you can see, we are producing more than enough of rock control units and load into structures. We're missing pretty much twice the rock control units. And uh, yeah, let's just double our little setup we have here and see how it goes. Of course, we will need more of this, but uh, yeah, without any more copper, that's not going to happen. And when we double this, it's pretty much going to stop this one from uh, working in its entirety. So um, before we double this, I just... Oh, we can just do it now because it will be better in terms of uh, setting things up. So let's just grab these four. That should be able to get put in next to each other or pretty much grabbing this. And that way we can do it correctly. I'm saying one, two. That should double exactly what we want. And of course, we will be missing uh, quite a bit of uh, items. But we'll go get those while we set up the next tier of belts. Since... Um, that is one way to alleviate our resources coming in too slowly. Might also want to do something about our copper situation. Maybe get one belt from over here in. This way it would be nice with a train station instead. But that will come in the mega base we're gonna build afterwards. So let's just go up here. I kind of want to grab some of these and put into our labs uh, just to save a bit on resources. Though that might not help us in. or help us at the moment. So let's just grab these. Let's see how many do we get. How many lives do we have? That's a good way to check it's just the power. So we need 18 times 2, so 36 or something like that. If I think it's suit can hold, if I'm wrong, we'll just have to go and grab a few more. But this should be enough. So here we go. To our labs to save on the resources. That is strained enough as it is. Holds two. That was so correct what I just said. So uh, here we are. And always remember to do this, guys. Giving it productivity. We'll increase our power consumption a bit by 80% per one, but uh, we should easily be able to handle that. While we're here, let's just give these a small upgrade, since they are a bit too slow as it is right now. Might want to give this one as well. Can we do it all the way across? I think we can. There we are, just to make sure it gets in fast enough. So let's go to our mall and pick up all the things we need. And set up the next part of it. Being this part. So now we need to find a place to output the things. First things first, let's just drag this one down. And let's set up the inputs we need. We need one to go from put chest maybe right here. It'll be a bit of center, but since we have oil or lubricant coming in, we'll kind of have to do that. So let's see here. One, two, three. So we'll do one here, here, and there. 
limiting of course to a few stacks of each which is also going to tax our system quite a bit but uh, since that's mostly not all of it but mostly uh what's it called iron we should be okay so let's just set this one up first that is our most important one and I can see a problem with doing this. We will still run into an issue with the uh, with oil. So what we actually could do. How do we want to get this out? We could put it just all the way out here and do long-handed to do it. I think that might actually be the best solution since this will use undergrounds to uh, continue. So doing this instead is actually a bit better. Please filter these in and let's just go with own this one in the middle running as it as is right now. And you can just kind of go out here. Let's see here on the ground. Let's grab a few more belts could be good. And splitters are fine. There we are. Let's do. Oh actually meant to do it with one of these that's completely fine and there then we just need to go grab ourselves some lubricant luckily as always that is on our bus so we just have to go out here and get it trying to find a good way through so let's go down here and check you freaking four and go away where is our lubricant it is right there so that means we can just do this dragging it all the way up here seeing here is our input and voila that means we have lubricant flowing all the way down our mall just need a little connection right here to go into these and then we have lubricant here and all we need to do then is just Add quite a bit of uh, inserters here. We might just take this. Might grab some, to be honest, stack inserters soon. But uh, will one be enough? We'll see. I don't think one will be enough. Yeah, we'll just add three of them. I can almost keep up. But if we have three from the other side as well. That should keep up with what we need. And there we are. That is our next tier of belts. Express transport belt. And we are just kind of grabbing whatever we can to get this to, uh, to work. Let's empty out this one. There we are. So this is slowly building up. We'll just give it some time to do that. And let's just grab these while we wait and a few more there we are so how is our rocket looking it's at can't we see from here thought we could might just oh yeah 25 out of 100 so we just need to increase our copper inputs and uh, the only way to do that right now is to go see if this is actually getting all it can. It seems like we're emptying out at all. And let's just do this as well. Stupid stone, you can go into these. Here are some coal for you as well. You can go into the furnace over here so we don't have it on my person. And there we are. Gave us a bit more room. So, one of the things we have backing up right now that's actually needed for the steel is pretty much just right here. So let's do a little sneaky. An easy way to do it is just do here and here. Oh, and here. Saying output priority to the right as before. And this one output priority to the left. But anything that's more than uh, it can handle will just go in here. That way we'll make sure that we at least have a full belt flowing in. And we can do the same uh, further back if we want to 
get yet another setup of steel. Don't think steel is that big of an issue right now. Let's see. Producing 360, consuming more than that. So uh, it will be an issue sometime in the future. So we might set up a new steel column. And maybe just upgrade all of this to, uh, to red. Maybe not all of it. But still quite a bit to get it all the way down to the end. There we are. And the same over here. And then we should be good for the foreseeable future. Oh, in theory we could actually just expand this down way, way more now. I wonder if we can do... Oh, it's all jammed up. So we can actually do... Oh, it's fine. This is very, very good. So this should give us a bit more steel. But that is not our main issue right now. That is still the copper. So, uh, yeah. How do we get more copper in? These are all completely full. I don't think we can output any more from uh, from the sides. Let's just do this. Get all of our track back. Let's clean all of this up. That small belt for me. And it looks like something is jamming a bit right here. So it might not be enough coming through. But there's some holes because it's not going in correctly since some of it is not on the same side. One way to solve that is just by uh, doing a little sneaky over here. And a good, what is a good way to do it? I think just doing something like this and saying, and you can go right there and back on this one doing the same on the opposite side that should solve our little issue not in the most beautiful way but i think it should work there we are so now all of this should flow without any issues even if things jams uh, on one side further up the line which has been the case so far we are missing minus here, so we could actually probably get a bit more out of this one. That is perfect. Let's see, these are all good. You are empty. And you're empty. empty. That should give us a bit more copper, probably. Going into these, and hopefully more of a full belt. That would be very nice. In terms of copper, we can get one more over here, just dragging it in. And that probably means that we have to expand our copper smelting columns to at least one more. But uh, luckily, that is something that's very, very easy to do. So let's just copy this one. Come to me. Please just get put down right over here, where you fit. Fits right here. It's just uh, cut off the belts, that's the issue. So let's just go and grab what we need to get this done. A ton of inserters. Come up to me. And belts we have enough of, we just need yeah, way more inserts so we can get this filled. So let's see. Oh, let's see here. More inserters. Come to me, please. Let's grab two of them. That should be more than enough. The rest is fine. Let's get a few undergrounds. These are still working along nicely. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And let's grab ourselves. Could actually set up both of them while we're at it, but let's just set up one of them first. So one, two, back. We should only need 48 to get one whole line, or one whole column 
up and running. How's the power pulse looking? Not good. Thank God I noticed the stats before we left. So we can get things up and running. So let's go out and grab in some more. Let's call some more um, copper as soon as we get this built. So we can get a 50% increase in copper throughput. There we are. There we go. And the last one. What? Did I miscount something? Isn't it 48? And we agreed that I brought... F oh, yeah. Okay, they all upgraded. I was like, I'm sure I brought 48. I was like, am I going mad? Luckily, I wasn't. So uh, that is perfect. One issue I can see is that we are starting to run into an issue in terms of getting coal down here. One way to solve that is by turning off this part and getting all the coal flowing to the south. And I think that might actually be a way to do it. Since we don't have that much flowing in at the moment. So let's see here. You can go to the right instead. These will turn off. That will probably affect our power production quite a bit. But yeah. We, we should still be... That will be a bad idea. We need to set up the power somewhere else instead. I think that has to be the solution. So setting up a second column of power down here is actually what we should do but before that let's drag in copper can just drag it right next to or what's it called iron column i think that'll be fine just getting a copper one flowing right next to it Pause, remember to bring some miners, or <laughs> it would have been quite, quite annoying running back for them. A bit more we can mine right here, just to get it emptied out. There we are, and that should be all of this mined as well. This is getting mined as well at nice little speed, and then we should be done with all the things we have stored up right here and there we are spring cleaning done and all of our miners have been collected But yeah, let's remember to get some coal down here before we run out. That would be uh, quite, quite bad. So grab a stack of miners. Oh, these are grabbing a lot of iron. Might want to get this free up so we have some flowing down here to craft whatever we need on this side. So, we were looking at our copper. And we were looking at grabbing. Where are we at? Didn't we grab these? Oh, we did. I was looking at those. So, let's drag in our copper line almost make a satellite as well that is so so good so let's drag it out this way that shouldn't be an issue we can always just jump it in right here and switch this to a column further down so do we bring enough belts who knows do we need to go up this to the cross I think we do quite quite soon so right there I'll go get some more red belts. 
We just finished the space science. Let's just keep that and let's look what does a satellite cost to make. Accumulators is something we are not making yet. Solar panels we have. Do we have a hundred? We don't. So let's just set that to a hundred instead. And the rest is easy enough to get. Yeah, we'll just go grab that as soon as the rocket is done. I think that'll be fine. Accumulators we can't make here yet since we don't have batteries going in. So we'll have to make those somewhere else. Yep. But first, we need all of the copper since that is pretty much what we're missing. And that should be more than enough belts coming our way. So continuing up, let's see straight from here. That should be a somewhat good cross to do. And let's take our trusty blueprint that has served us so well. Oh, that's the wrong place to put it. Right there instead, copy you to right there. Do a bigger copy. And then we can pretty much just get it lined up and moving. towards our copper patch and I know most of this is going to be teared up in a few episodes when we go into mega base territory but uh, for your viewing pleasure let's just get it down and for your amazingness when uh, we switch to a completely different setup I think that's gonna be uh, be quite quite fun it is gonna be fun for me to uh, to to do um, as a fun fact this is the first time I've launched a rocket without using trains in a vanilla playthrough. So, uh, yeah, that is actually uh, something I never expected to do, but I'm actually enjoying it quite, quite a lot. Just doing a bit of belts, going everywhere. So let's keep doing that for a little while still. And we are quite, quite close to our patch now. We might want to put down a radar some, uh, somewhere up here. There we are. That seems good. And the power we can just get from right here. Please come over here, please. And... Power. Now to get down the minus. You can just start right here from the top. Hopefully it matches all the way down. And a good thing to do, if you know you have one that's completely full, you can copy them all and just place them down way, way faster than doing one at a time. Which is quite, quite nice, if I say so myself. So now we just need to put this down. We need to do a four lane balancer into one. We have pretty much four right here. There we go. So go, go little robots, get our thing set up. Uh, there we are. We'll then take these in. Here, right here. There, and the last one. There we are. Four lane balance are done. Call outpost post starting to work. And then we bring enough miners. We are just at the edge of what we can support. Look at that. It's like I almost timed it. So let's see if one is enough. We can fill one belt, so uh, I think that is good. We'll have to move this a small amount. You can just go down here instead, and there we are. So let's just watch if uh, if you get more than one belt. I think we might do that. 
but uh, yeah, that's fine. We uh, we don't really mind that a whole lot. In case we get some funny fit business like we did before, let's just do a little funny, funny balancer here. There we are. Though I don't think it's necessary. It looks decent enough to have. So let's go down and hook it up. And then we will probably be at the end of this episode where the last thing we check is just uh, how, how uh, the rocket silo is going. But look how brilliant this looks. I love this uh, this look. It looks uh, quite, quite good. This little snaky uh, goodness. So this one is coming in. We'll just kind of jump it into this one. So you can just go down one here and go this way. Please uh, jump across and jump across one more time. Meaning that we'll have to split up our little setup here. So you'll go down to this one. And this one right here will just kind of go into right here. And if we have a surplus of something, we can just make it go down into this one. By using a little thing like this. So you'll go straight and you'll go this way. And up property to this way. Need to upgrade you, please. All of this. Oh, wait, not all of that. That is to a different kind of belt. So now all of it should go this way. All of this one should go in here. This one should go into this one. So that means we should have three outputs of copper. And we pretty much just need to hook up the fourth one. Do we have enough for it? It's right on the edge. We could hook it up to be a bit nicer. So uh, let's just build out this one as well as the last thing this episode. I kind of want to hook up the last uh, copper before we end. There we are. That's one more copper going in. So now let's go down and get another 48. Of course, get more of these. On the is fine, belt's fine, that is fine. And let's grab 48 of you. That's 48. So let's set up the last one, hook up the last part of the belts, and then uh, hopefully we will have enough going through. At least I know we'll have to uh, upgrade this to a red belt as well. So let's take this part, please. Put you in right over here, and let's see how this looks. There we are, and... Nice and quick, setting up this, and where is our belt? It's right here. Opposite way. And here, a small upgrade to new of these. And yeah, we're probably going to run out of coal very, very soon. But then we can pretty much just drag one more belt down from here. So please go that way. And you'll kind of go to here and you'll go to there. Then we should be spending all of our copper as it is right now red belts all the way down and hooking you up as the last one to our array here there we are so next episode we'll just have to figure out something to do with our coal that most definitely can't keep up as long as this monstrosity is here when that is gone, we should be able to change it out for uh, for something else. Because I don't like that it's not filling up everything as, uh, as it should be. There we are. That is a lot of copper flowing in. Now to give ourselves a little 
upgrade on this part. At least until after this part is needed. So to at least here, I think that will be uh, be quite good. Go, go, go. That is fine. Here is the rest. And they ran out of belts. And you can just take... Oh, it should be fine. The last part before this episode is done. Come on, go in. Yeah. And then we just need to hook up the rest of these. And then we are golden. And hopefully this will give us uh, a lot more down the line. If we look, look how much more copper this is. Everything is completely full. And now we're just missing another resource being plastic. And luckily that is easy enough to set up right here. Yeah, so coal is our issue. We'll work on ne next episode and hopefully also launching a rocket. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you will give me a like and a subscribe. And then I will see you in next episode. Bye, guys.